Now that we've seen that plant residue has a moderating influence on soil temperatures, we have another question. What is it that most influences cumulative soil temperatures over the whole growing season? The answer is kind of obvious, but we wanted to put it out there for you anyway. So yeah, 2016 was a lot warmer year than we normally see. So we had, uh, the, by the time we got to the end of the growing season, we had accumulated quite a few more growing um, degree days than we normally would see. So in terms of management, it almost looks like till versus no till is a non-issue compared to how that year is going to be. Would that be a, a reasonable statement? That'd be make? a reasonable statement. And we, we found that in our example here in our study. And I've seen that from other places too, other research that's mm -hmm. been done. It seems like just the air temperature has a greater effect on soil temperature than anything that you do as far as disturbance or not disturbance. Okay, so now we've looked at some real data from the 2016 growing season in Vermilion, South Dakota. We hope this has helped you better understand the issues around soil temperatures. Before we move to another topic, let's hand it over to some no-till farmers to share their soil temperature experience with us. See you soon. <laughs>